everyone, and welcome to Stocks with Show Play of the Day. This is Blocks. It was a great gap here, one of the top watches this morning. And uh, and actually, I thought it would go to 11.50. It's not going to make it there today, but it did go to $12, which was one of the targets. The dream target was 11.50. And, you know, some days things go to the dream target, some days they don't. But the real target was $12, and I felt certain that it would get there. And, and it did. So it was a good gap, and you could have played this hard today. You could have played it a couple of different times and really maximized uh, the move in this. It allowed for that because it gave several different setups. So let's just go over it. Now this gap for a lot of reasons today, actually. There was a lot going on with this gap. So what did this do? Well, it broke immediately. And if you did this immediately out of the gate, you might have gotten stopped out. I actually didn't do this play. Uh, I was looking at something else. But either way, the gap was good enough to retake it, which you can do. And sometimes you have to do with stocks. Sometimes the first play does not work. I always usually do the first setup, though, unless I'm watching two things or three things in a morning. In any event, this be ended up being terrific still. So if you took it, you got stopped out. It rallied. It rallied up and had a beautiful rally in here. And this did not reverse swoosh. All it did was a nice concentrated rally here up to the resistance, did not get over 1350, and the stock was down a lot of the day. So a rally was perfectly fine for this. It was still good. It went over the high of the day, but it didn't reverse swoosh, and it was still very, very, very good. And then here's the entry, okay? I also had an entry in the two minute as well and just came right on down. Nice move in here. I mean, just followed it all the way down, 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 down. And actually, this looked like it was going to get to $12 in the first move. Crazy, but true. This is almost a dollar here from the entry, and it looked like it was going to get down to the very first target by the first move before 10 o'clock. So there was a lot of weakness in this. Then there was a second setup in here. Let's go over it. Actually, this looked like this was going to break down right in here in the five minute. However, it did not. Okay, it did not. And when it rallied back, it made a nice topping tail here. It didn't hold thirteen dollars, which isn't that big of a deal. It was still valid there. It did hold this area here of the resistance. You can see it. It's very clear actually. And the stock did trigger in here. And I thought that in this move here, it was going to go all the way down to eleven fifty, but it didn't. It did bleed down though to twelve dollars. And, you know, it's one of these things where you kind of got to money manage yourself as the day goes on. You know, I, I do really watch things closely if I happen to be in them in the afternoon. I don't do that often. I did stick with this today past the time I normally trade in the morning because I wanted to get as much as I could out of this, basically, you know. And uh, I feel that I did for the later play. As far as the morning goes, though, this could have been played very hard in the morning here. It actually behaved very well wasn't wild and whippy, um, and it really did everything right today. It had a little bit of a spread in the morning, but it wasn't that big of a deal, and uh, it was a nice short. It was a good short, and actually, I have no idea what this does on Monday, but I wouldn't be surprised if this follows through on Monday. I mean, I really, really wouldn't, uh, or it may just not do anything, much of anything on Monday. It had a good move in it today, and, and it's going to close under $13. I mean, the stock is still lower. You know, every once in a while you can get a trade, uh, a new entry in something or an ad around 1.45, 2 o'clock, 2.15. This stock just didn't do it today. And you can tell by the way that this flipped here in the 15 minute that this, this move in the stock is done today. And this 12.01 is the low of the day. The stock rallied up in here, tried to go down again, couldn't do it. And then when this bar happens, you got to realize that you just have to say sayonara for the day here. Stock rallied up here, still held 13, but too late now to go any further. This would have had to kind of squash around in here if you wanted to look for an, another setup. If you wanted to get in it like a third time in the day, you know, you, you just really had to hold in here. This way that this is scooping here now tells you you can't redo it. So I actually was thinking about taking another trade in this here this afternoon, and uh, but it really needed to be around 1.45, 2 o'clock, 2.15. I think there needs to be a rule where you almost don't even take any new trades after 2.15. It gets to be too late. Oops. It's too late for then stocks to move and continue. If you're still in something, you want to watch it, and you're monitoring it down, and you're ready up money on the day, and you have your stock lower, that's a different story. But to actually take a brand new trade 
at three o'clock or three fifteen, it's just too late to do. It's just way too late to do it. But every once in a while, stuff will set up. You know, two o'clock, two fifteen, sometimes even two thirty. But even that's kind of late. But this did have a beautiful move in the morning. It did everything right that it was supposed to do. A lot of weakness in this blocks. So really nice play here and was one of the two top picks for the day. So good job, everybody that did this today. Good job, everyone that traded this in the morning and made the profit in this and stuck with it then in the afternoon to get it down to the whole number. Very, very good job if you were able to do that. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. It's 3.15 on Friday. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. And I'll see you next week doing a webinar on Monday. If you're interested in more information on coming to the webinar, it's 4.30 Monday afternoon. If you'd like more information on that, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.